going to mug me? I might get a mug you. Is that gorgeous or what, eh? And I believe I can run the Beef and Marathon. Download Veely now. What's going on? What's going on? Those two jokers you hired Teeth and Noel tried to fucking kill me, Frank. They shot at me. Daddy, listen to me. Calm down now. Don't tell me to calm down. You just make sure that little girl and her mother are all right, you hear me? Why wouldn't they be all right? Because I had to leave them there, Frank. Tied to a tree. I swear to God. If anything has happened to them too, right? I'm coming after you. Daddy. That's all. Job for you now in a second. What about the family? Take them majestic. I'll interview them there. Fair enough. Listen, go and get me, will you? Go through the woods there towards the town. What's going on? Huh? What is going on? Jesus Christ, man. At least put your arms around me first. Please, don't. What happened with Danny? And where's the money? Money stash somewhere safe. Don't worry about it. Have you heard from him yet? Yeah, he told me you tried to kill him. Who right with it? He wouldn't stop yapping to that young one back and raised his voice. I told him several times to button it. I told you both to button it. Now you want my opinion? We find him now. We bury him six feet under. Shut up and wait in the car. What? Ah! Oh. I said wait in the car. Do you know where he is? He didn't say. We need to find him to make our peace. You know? How are we going to do that when he thinks you're trying to kill him? I'm not trying to kill him. It was an impulse, right? Look, you make the call, set up a meeting. How much is he supposed to get? Ten. Well, he fucked up, so offer him five. Enough to get him on his way. What about the woman and the child? What about them? Just 
They're grand, for Christ's sake. Better me. Here. You guys get blood in that seat. Are they okay? Are they safe? Everyone's fine, Danny. Just calm down. Just tell me where you are and I'll come and get you. I'm at the old marriage farm. Oh, Hi, lads. What's going on? We're on the hop, Sammy. Any chance of a cigarette? Anything strange been going on, Sammy? Nah, yeah, nothing strange. Where is he? How would I know? Probably off giving your young one the old one too. He's what? Don't get your head out of your arse, man. He's seeing your daughter. Which means he's probably gonna call her. Yeah? Yeah, and then what? And then? We'll take care of him. Take care of him? Yeah. You mean give him his money and get him out of here, right? That's it, Frank, yeah. Maybe give him a little bonus, too, for good measure while we're at it. Why can't we just stick to the plan? I'll take care of Danny. Are you for real or what? He's gonna sell us all down the river. Now you just find out where he is and let me know about it pronto. Voices, accents. No, not really. Nothing. It's important you try and remember anything that might be helpful to us, Jenny. Well, they were old. They looked old. What makes you say that? I, I don't know, I just, I don't know. But they wore masks, right? Yeah. I mean, I meant they sounded old. The two of them were old. Right. So, was that it? Yeah. Enjoy your ice cream.
I was calling you. Why didn't you answer? Where were you? Nowhere. Nowhere. Right. What? Is it true you're seeing Danny Dempsey? He's trouble, Karina. Karina. Look at it. I want you to be happy. I want you to be happy and contented and... And normal. Go on and say it. You want me to be normal. Safe. I just want you to be safe. You're a stamp collector. I am. De Valera, Collins, Pierce, and Connolly. That's it. Rare. <laughs> the Holy Grail, boy. For what died the sons of Aaron, huh? Jesus Christ, Tom. They turn in their graves. Yeah. My father was the gardener here. We used to live in this little gate lodge at that time. My father, my mother, my little sister and me. Until daddy died and we were forced to get out. Evicted, you could say. So yeah, I suppose I'm like a salmon swimming home. You sure you don't want any? No, thanks. You weren't in there long. At the bank? Oh, no. In and out in 10 minutes. I mean, the money was already there waiting for me. All I had to do was pick it up. How come it wasn't in the lockdown safe? <laughs> Ed Banner arrived with it late on Friday evening, as usual. By that stage, the main vault was already in lockdown. We had no other choice but to put it in the little outer one. That little casino was taken in that kind of money. 850 grand. Sometimes more. Do you think they deliberately targeted that money? Whether they did or not is beside the point. All I know is that I had no other option but to take it. How did they know it was there, I wonder? Mm. Now, there's the question, isn't it? Mm. I know Long John's name is still over the door, but that casino never actually belonged to him, did it? Oh, no. A local consortium is behind it. Kirwan's Cross, you mean? Them are they. I could tell you some stories about them lads. How they ruled the roost in the Fountainhead Club, drinking and dancing and all the rest of it. My missus amongst them, I hasten to add. When I stood down the back of the room, like the unseen, I'm sure it was a source of great amusement to them all when I emerged from the shadows and asked them to dance one night. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Every day's a party to them lads. Then you went to work in the bank? I did. Worked your way up? Uh -huh. Things were different then, Tom. The safe pair of hands was a good thing to be. Before that, to hell with the consequences, Brigade arrived. Of course, they all used to laugh at me. Told me my business practices were old fashioned. One of them called me antiquated one time. Says I, maybe I am, but at least my books bounce at the end of every day. Sleep in my bed with me. No, I'm all right. You sure? Mm -hmm. Don't cry, mommy. Everything's going to be all right. Some secret hero.
There he is. Regal Martha's junior. What's going on with his young one's head? She's definitely holding out on you. I'm going to drag her back in, give her the old third degree. Yeah, tie her to a chair. Those are the days. What's going on? Danny. What about him? We're looking for him. What do you think? <laughs> He's not here. Any idea where he is, Ben? No. Oh. <laughs> if and when he does come back, uh, tell him we're looking for him, will you? I'd leave you a card, but, uh, no. like you're staking the place out there. Asher, sure don't help me. How's business? All right? Asher, nice. you know yourself, Tom. It's not great, now. You're hard at it anyway. Yeah. You know? Shocking. In this little town, like... man and his family. Terrorised, kidnapped, dragged out to the woods. A child, like, whatever about the adults. And how are they doing? The rains, I mean. They're all right. They're in the Majestic until we're finished in the house. And have you any ideas? It's early days yet, but we're making headway. Yeah? Yeah. saying to Desi how sorry I am to hear about everything, you know? I mean to say no one deserves that. You know? I know. Only as a sort of now. No. How are you, Jenny? You all right? Yeah, thanks. You do yourself a favour and put that out of your head if you can. Am I right, Desi? 
Francis. Important for Josie, sorry I'm late. There was no need to come in, Desmond. I know. Are so, you okay? Yeah. Of Are course, you sure? I can handle things no, here. I'm fine. You've got to keep the flag flying, don't we, Ernie? Absolutely, Mr. Red. We sure do. We sure do. Oh, thank you, Ernie. You're welcome, Mr. Red. Is everybody in? Yeah. Good. How's the family, Mr. Red? Uh, as well as can be expected. Thank you for asking, Ernie. What's this? Just got something for your little girl. Cheer her up. She likes trains, eh? Oh, she does. And we'll get them a card. Yeah. No worries at all. Oh, Nancy, dig me out Frank Mammon's find again there for me, will you? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. Desmond, are you all right? I'm fine. Should you not be home with your family now? I'm needed here, Nick. Well, let me know when you want me. It's the auditors, Frank. It's just routine stuff, really. We need to see what you have in stock so we can more or less evaluate everything. All oh, right. Evaluate, liquidate, and vacate. Is that the drill? Desi Rain, huh? Jesus, he's like a rock around my neck. Uh, I just need your signature, Frank, to allow us to. This is ridiculous, Nick. A couple of months and I'll be back on my feet again. I mean, you know me. I'm not one to lie down on the job. I built this business from scratch, for Christ's sake, and I'll do it again. I just need your signature, Frank. How's that for a signature? Yeah. <laughs> 
Danny? What are you doing here? We're going to the hut. What hut? We have a hut, don't we, Andy? Yeah. What's going on? I'm hiding from someone, Kate. It has to be our secret, all right? Okay, Danny. We won't tell no one nothing. You sure we won't, Andy? No. We can help you, Danny. Get you whatever you want. Bring you food and that. Okay, come. Listen, go to the club. Give me some clothes. Yeah, give me some for this. Okay? Okay, Danny. Keep your mouth shut. Danny, no? No. Where do you think he is, Ben? I don't know. Out in the bunk somewhere. That's what I worry about. Because he's easily led, you know? Too easily led. Like that time at the Olympics, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. And that's what I mean. Because he's easily gulled that way. And as for you, you need to know that Danny is like the sun. He comes and he goes, and there's nothing else in between. You need to know that and remember it. All right, lads, wrap it up now. Hi, Karina. What are you doing here? Nothing. What's going on? Come on, Keith. You right? Andy, you better tell me what you're up to. Nothing. Danny asked us to get him some clothes. We're not supposed to tell him, aren't we, Keith? No. Well, you're not going anywhere without me. Where have you been? 
I've been calling you. What happened to your leg? You need to get out, all right? I don't want you caught here. Caught by who? The less you know, the better. Trust me, I don't want you involved. But I'm here. I'm already involved. Karina, go home, will you? first Irish bank around 7am on Sunday morning, threatening the family with a gun before taking his wife and daughter hostage and forcing Mr. Rain to remove a large sum of cash from the bank. Gardaí said that three men were dressed in blue overalls and balaclavas and drove a mile fan which was subsequently burned down. Penny Dempsey here, no? No. Must be on the round, hands up. Frank about. He's on his way. I'll wait for him. See myself in this now, so good. Oh, yeah? Win the lotto, did you? It be. A hundred grand is yours. No sign of Danny, no. Danny? No. Don't know where he is. Must be on the job somewhere. Must be. If this is about the money he owes you, Ed, I'll take care of that for him. Yeah? Why would you do that, Frank? That lad works for me, you know. Pay it back. He must be exhausted after all his running around on Sunday. How do you mean? This rain kidnapping thing. Danny's involved in that. Danny? Should anyone have the brains for that now? Uh, you're right, you're right. But you would. I don't know what you're talking about, Ed. My sources say different, Frank. Oh, yeah? What sources? I think you know. And to be honest, I was feeling a little bit left out. Left out? Yeah. And now of the cops sniffing around the casino, it makes me bosses very edgy, very touchy, do you know? 
Yeah, I think it'd be best for everyone if we all sat down and had a little chat, Frank. Yeah, I could really see myself in this now. <laughs> Do you mind if I take it out for the day? I can't. Ed, it's not mine. None of them are mine. I'm gonna need some security, Frank. Sure, call over to the casino in the evening. Ten o'clock. I'll give you the key back. Or not. No, we have a problem. Ed Banner knows about everything. And he wants a cut. What do you mean he knows about it? He wants to meet me tonight at the casino at ten o'clock. Jesus, how did he find out? How do I know how he found out? Source. You're a jinx, Frank, you know that. Eddie Banner, a pal of yours, right? Yeah, well, I know him. What did you say to him? Huh? Nah. Nah. What did you nah. say to him? Andy, out. This is our hut. I don't care. Get out. Come on, Andy. Let's go. This is our hut. I know what you did. It's all over the news. What were you thinking? How could you get me and the boys involved in something like this? I tried to warn you. I don't even know what to say. After all my dad did for you, he set you up with a job and everything. Oh yeah, no, he set me up all right. What's that supposed to mean? Listen, don't worry about it. I'll be out of everyone's hair soon enough, don't worry. I don't want you out of my hair. That's the point. But I don't have much choice, do I? I need to go somewhere. Go where? I don't know, somewhere else. I'm Danny Dempsey. You're looking for some knockout prices. Come see me, Alan Motors, any day, any time. Alan Motors, just off Wexford Road. You're listening to the sound of the sound. You know where Danny is, don't you? T tell me where he is. Why? Because he's in trouble and I can help him. What is it you think he's done exactly? I know what he's done. How do you know? Are you in on this? Alina. You're in on this? No. That's what he meant when he said you set him up. Karina, just listen to me now, please. Sit down. How could you do something just like calm, that? Just calm down. You know Annette, you know Jenny. I know, but Desi Wayne was going to take everything I worked for. Everything I have, everything we own. I just needed to, I just needed to buy some time, oh, but- stop talking! Karina! Stop! Just listen to me. Look, I know I messed up. I do. I know I messed up. But I did this for you. I did this for our family, and I can fix it. I just have to know where Danny is. I'm not telling you where he is. <sighs> okay, fine. Fine, don't tell me. But just get him to meet me, okay? Please.
Boyfriend's gone missing. Left you high and dry, I heard. You're acting like I betrayed you or something. I didn't betray you. You're hurting me. I'm hurting you. I guess that fired you, you know. Burn your house down in the middle of the night some night while you're all asleep. Now you, you die. You run away, ma. Yeah, I might just do that sometime. What you're saying is that this pile of money here, that's my money, yeah? Don't forget about teeth. And this pile here, that's going to the Kierman's Cross, lads, isn't that right? Keep him sweet. Keep him sweet. What about Frank? This must be your share. Is that right? That's right. <laughs> Eddie. What are you gonna do with all that money? Hmm? I have plans, no. Have you not? I've got plans too, Eddie. And unfortunately, they don't include you. A little bit left out, wouldn't you, Andy? A little bit left out. Mm. You had to go and stick your stupid, ugly nose into where it don't belong. Yeah? Going round committing conversational nuisance all over the place. What's that? Huh? What's that, Eddie? You're sorry. He says he's sorry. It's a bit late now, Eddie. <laughs>
their sleep. When can we go home? Soon. Go back to sleep. 